Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make a healthy carrot and pineapple juice. It's really hot outside, about 90 degrees, it feels like 100, so I thought I'd make something refreshing and cooling. Today's a day for light foods. All we need are carrots, pineapple, limes or lemons, and ginger. If you have a juicer, you can just juice all the ingredients, but today I'll show you how to do it with a blender because not everybody has a juicer. I'll put the ingredients and measurements right below this video. Wash the carrots and peel them. There's going to be a lot for the compost pile today. Trim the ends off. How small you cut them depends on the power of your blender. Small chunks, about half an inch, is good for most blenders. We'll cut a small piece of ginger. Peel off the skin. Half a small lime is good. You can juice it first or just cut the peel off like this, uh, remove any seeds if there are any, and then blend it along with the carrots. And last, we'll cut the pineapple. You can see it's nice and yellow, it's golden, and it's ripe. If we were going to eat the fresh pineapple, then of course we would take all the eyes out. But for blending, you don't have to do that. We are going to strain it. So all you have to do is cut off the skin and the little bits of the green parts. After I remove the peel, I always like to wash the pineapple, the cutting board, and the knife so everything is clean. Cut it in half. We won't need the whole pineapple for this recipe. This is a large pineapple. Cut it in half again. Take the core off. Now when I eat a pineapple, I take more of the core off. I go down a little bit more, but since we're juicing it, it's okay. Just take the top layer off. The really hard part of the core. Cut this into chunks. Pineapple is cut up and ready. The rest of the pineapple I'll use for another juice. To the blender jar, add the pineapple, the lime, ginger, and carrots. This is about seven cups, so if you have a small blender or your blender is not that powerful, um, just do it in two shots instead of one. I'm also gonna add about two cups of water. Go ahead and blend it, start on low, and then slowly move to high. Blend it about two minutes, depending on your blender. Make sure it's completely smooth. I've got a fine mesh strainer set over a large measuring cup. Pour about a quarter of the uh, liquid in at a time. And then just use a spoon, move the liquid back and forth. Strain out the juice. Press the pulp. You want to get all the juice out. You can see all the pulp that can go into your compost. You can even use this in baked goods if you like. And filter the rest. In between, if your strainer gets a lot of pulp on it, just remove the pulp and rinse it out. 
otherwise it's gonna make it harder to strain the juice. You can scrape the outside of the strainer if you want. It'll be a little gritty, but it's still tasty. So if you want very clear juice, then um, don't take it off the outside. I just rinse off the strainer. And do scrape the sides and go down to the middle especially because all the pulp will be stuck in there. So you just want to move it around so you get all the juice out easily. Juicing with a blender instead of a juicer does require more work. That's why I'm giving you these tips to make it easier. So I've got a little less than a liter of juice. Four cups, 32 ounces or one quart. Now there will be some foam on top. You can remove it or just mix it into the juice and drink it. The juice is pretty clear. Just gonna taste it. It's really tasty and refreshing. It's not gritty at all because we used a fine mesh strainer. If you don't have a fine mesh strainer, you can always use a regular strainer. Just put a cloth on it. It's really light and easy to drink. Perfect for this hot weather. I hope you like this juice and give it a try. It'll keep you cool and healthy. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.